Hey guys, this is Trey, back from another video. And today, I'm gonna to show you how I dug up this snapping turtle nest, but I'll roll you back to a couple hours before when I actually dug them up. All right, so you can see the turtle is now laying its eggs. You can see, I think when it does that, it goes and lays an egg. He like, or she propels herself up. So I think she does that to lay her eggs. You can see the dirt behind her, which shows that she dug a hole so she can lay her eggs in it which is really cool. And this turtle is probably about a foot and a half in diameter and she's huge. And then this is a snapping turtle, I believe, because of the face. It's crazy how big it is. And then a couple years ago, over there in the mulch, a painted turtle laid eggs and no babies ever hatched. So maybe when we count like the days and kind of like how I got my turtle and they dig up the nest and see if any baby survived, which would be really cool. But I'll give you an update when she's leaving or when she's gone. So you can see the turtle now is burying her nest. I just came downstairs. You can see, come right over here. Other side, you can see the hole right there and you can see she's right there. She really is big. So she's trying to cover her hole up right now with all the eggs in it. And she's been here probably for about 45 minutes. At least what we've seen. She could have been here longer, or she definitely was to at least dig the nest. And it, I read that she can lay up to 40 eggs, 20 to 40 eggs, I heard. So it's crazy. I'll give you an update when she's moving a little bit more. So she's starting to move again. And see, it looks like she's just running away already, even though her nest isn't fully covered. But actually coming to the front door. I think she's trying to go back to the pond. It's right behind me. Um, this is our front door. So right behind me through the house is the pond. You can see that big long tail, how big she really is. Her claws are huge, but now it looks like she might be turning around to go cover her nest back up. She's now over the nest. Probably gonna use it with her hind legs. That's what I'm thinking. Or she's just gonna leave. So I'll let her go and do her thing. I don't wanna stress her out that much. You can see her tail's right there. And then I'll go over and check her nest. And I may or may not incubate a couple eggs, but I'll see we when I'm out there. So I just followed her. We saw that she went right back in the mulch. You see, she's right down there, and she's huge. So she's heading back to the pond, and I'll go over and show you the nest. So here's her nest, and you can see it looks like she did cover it up a little bit because I can't see any eggs, but there's still a bunch of dirt right there. So I'm going to gently dig it up a bit and maybe take a couple eggs to try and incubate myself. And I'm going to make sure I keep the top where it is because I think the embryo sometimes attaches to the top of the egg. And then if you move it, it could cause it to detach and die. And I don't want the babies to die. So I'm going to leave a couple, kind of see how many she laid, maybe take a couple to see if I can raise them from an egg to a baby and then release them back into the big pond because I don't really want a snapping turtle because they eat a lot and they're not really the friendliest. But then I can release them back in the wild and that'd be pretty cool. And I would see if this even hatches, the nest naturally. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can gently dig any up. I came back out here to check where the turtle is and you can see she's all the way down there and she's slowly moseying her way down to the pond. She was right up here by our deck for probably another 15 minutes resting. You can see like her imprints down there. So I came back out again like 15 minutes later to see where she was. Oh, she probably hears my voice, her head's going up and see she's all the way over there. So now I'm going to go and start checking out where or what's in her nest. So again, this is the nest and all I'm doing is I'm taking a silver spoon and I'm just gently taking a little bit of dirt off because I don't want to harm any of these eggs. So I'm just going to gently take off some of the dirt and just kind of dig down. You can see all the dirt she brought up. So it's probably down a little further. So I might be able to go a little bit harder up here and just 
kind of slowly try and break the ground because it is hard clay here. So I'm gonna continue to do this for a little bit and let you know when I have some progress. So this is about probably 12 hours later and I started to dig super deep. And you can see I'm, I'm really deep. And this was at 9 a.m. and I couldn't find any and I got discouraged. It's now around 8 p.m. and I finally found some eggs. We were, me and my dad were digging and I kind of just took a shovel, went like this, kind of thought it was hollow. And then I just dug, uh, sorry, there it is. I dug like that, or sorry, I went like that. And then sure enough, I found those eggs. So I'm gonna unearth all of this here, see how many I have, and I may keep a few and try and raise them as babies. So I'm gonna unearth some more and show you them. So you can see I unearthed more of the nest and there are just so many eggs. And I took two out right there and I'm going to be putting them in a container, a couple of them. I'm going to cover these guys back up and I want to make sure like if I touch this one, I'm going to keep it top, uh, the top up because I've heard that the embryo can sometimes attach to the top of the egg. And if I flip it, if I just took the egg and went like that, it could detach the embryo and then the turtle inside could actually die. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see there's a few. I'm getting some potting soil from like a kit that you add water to. Then you get like an herb growing kit. I'm just trying to make some dirt and then I'm gonna be putting it into this sandwich container. And this is what I see a lot of people do. And I'm gonna put it on my back deck, probably with some holes in it, so it can get some sun and some shade. And then it'll be probably 90 days before they hatch. And I'll show you me adding the dirt in with all those eggs. So sorry if the lighting's bad, but all I'm gonna do is I'm going to find an egg. So maybe this guy up top. Again, keep him upright to where that's how he was placed. Just put him down because I'm using one hand. And I'm gonna take a marker and just mark the top. I'm gonna mark the top of his egg so I know what's the top. And then I'm going to take him, gently place him in here. This is just some potting soil, which you just saw mixed with a little bit of mulch. I'm gonna do that with a couple more and then I'm gonna put dirt back on top of them. And I'll show you how they look after that. So I have six little eggs. You can see I marked the tops of them. And I'm probably just gonna cover them lightly with some mulch. And I'm gonna go over and get some more topsoil and seal them off. You can see there's the rest of the nest. There's so many, it goes down for so many layers too. There's probably at least 40 of them. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this dirt back on top of them safely and then hopefully Maybe they'll come up in probably 80 to 90 days. But again, I'm going to go take these guys inside and show you what to do with them next. You can see that I have all the dirt packed in on top of the eggs. You can't really see them from the side. But now I just cut some slits in the top so it's easy to open. Because if I open it without the slits, it could like shake all of them and disrupt them. So now I'm going to go ahead, put the lid on, and then go put them in a sunny spot where they get sun for probably about half the day and then shade for the other half because you don't want them to overheat. So now I'm gonna go put them in their spot. So this is where I'm gonna be hatching the eggs. And you can see this is the same container. This is about two weeks later. And this is just in a sunny window. Gets sun for about half the day and shade for the other half, which is good because it simulates the wild. And you can see there's some condensation growing, which is good or forming. And I did open the eggs up and they were doing all good. And I did add a little bit of water to make sure the ground was nice and moist, but that's going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to see these guys hatch.